Hello, Jetboy TV here. Today's video is gonna be about the quite allegations about quite supposedly raping someone. Let's go to the video. So when me and one of my friends Gavin found out that there were these allegations against quite, we were both equally surprised that there were allegations claiming that quite raped someone. I never thought I would ever see the day that Quiet would be accused of something like this. So on the 22nd of February, a person on Twitter with the user named Vriska's number one defender made allegations that Quiet was transphobic, abusive, and a rapist, and that he did all these things to her. Oh yeah, side note, this is an impedo case because Vriska and Quiet is the same age, so don't get the wrong idea. It is a photo of Quite's face that matches up with his eyebrows, and a description of himself that he did on a podcast. There is no solid proof that Quite did any horrible things to her. The really only proof that there is is Quite and Vriska were together, and Vriska made Quite's persona. People are being stupid and forgetting about the innocent until proven guilty thing, and they aren't waiting till Quite gives his side for some reason. Why? Quite also had deleted all the messages he sent about, uh, and people thought he deactivated his account, but I believe he was trying to, I guess he was scared or something during the situation, or he might have, might have actually done it. Mods also were deleting the messages, uh, people sent about the allegations, but it doesn't really mean Quite's doing this. It's just his mods, and his mods probably are trying to help him, but it's probably backfiring in the worst ways. Wow, 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 wow. There are some fishy things about Vriska's allegations. The first thing is that only specific people can respond to the tweet with the allegations. That seems a bit suspicious, uh, you know. And this person with the username of Anonymous Random Guy has pointed out some fishy things about the allegations. They said that this happened six years ago when White's channel was still small, but his first video only came out only five years ago. Not only that, but he had also had that hoodie design that they claimed to have made in the first video. But that first statement can be discredited because in Quite's older video, which he deleted, he has his face blacked out. So Vriska most likely did create his persona. The other things that anonymous random guy said is that Quite being homophobic and transphobic doesn't make sense, considering the fact that he is not only bisexual, but technically trans, since he goes by he slash him, she slash her, they slash them. Also, if quite did what he did, how is he still a three man with a large following? My friend Gavin also told me that people are adding gas to the fire by impersonating quite. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. Also, a YouTuber named Not Slick Boy claimed that Quite responded with a fucking god awful apology, but this was proven to be fake by anyone with over one fourth of a brain cell, and he also lied about Quite being a pedophile. He claimed that Quite raped a 14 year old even though it was not part of the allegations that Riska made. Like, I have a fucking rant to go on this motherfucker, and on commentary coop, uh, we're gonna do a video in the future about this motherfucker, because he is a view whore. Absolute whore for clicks on his fucking videos, so that he can go fuck himself. Quite said that he would make a response in a few days on February 25th. Three days after the allegations. 
And that's it for the video. Go subscribe to all our channels, and go subscribe to Commentary Poop. I'm out! Thank you.